On this episode of Smart Robots Review, we're going to continue building our smart robotic car based on Arduino using the Elegoo kit version 3.0. On the last episode, we started building the body and today we're going to finish it. Stay with me. It's going to be fun. Welcome to Smart Robots Review. Okay, so now the kit came with some black electrician's tape. Cut a few pieces off that black electrician's tape, or if you have some of your own, you can use that as well. I use some of mine. And cover the hole openings in the case. Then poke a hole in each one of those tape pieces that you put down using the small screwdriver that came with the kit and then you can insert your screws. That should work just fine. And there you have it. Now, let's grab those batteries, those rechargeable batteries that came with the kit, and let's get them installed. Each battery compartment is marked with the right polarity, so follow those instructions. Replace the battery cover, and now it's time to connect the power cable onto the main Arduino board just like this there we go and we're done let's keep going next we're gonna be installing the ultrasonic sensor so let's get those parts out oh this is good this is the micro servo a DC motor that will be rotating the ultrasonic sensor we're gonna be attaching the ultrasonic sensor on this motor and before that, we have to make sure we install this correctly. The cable will feed through. Okay, now we need to connect the cable from the motor to the expansion board, the shield. And remember, we can't get this necessarily wrong. All the ports here, all the plugs are labeled like that. I have to say so far this has been a very easy process to put everything together. It's intuitive. The instructions are very good. And this is the ultrasonic sensor. It is used for distance measurement and obstacle avoidance. In very basic terms it sends out pulses of sound and those pulses of sound get bounced off obstacles and when they return back the robot will be able to tell how far the obstacle is. Right now we're attaching the ultrasonic sensor to the bracket as indicated in the instructions. Then we're gonna attach the whole assembly there onto the micro servo motor and when we actually get to this and program the sensor the robot will be able to rotate this sensor 180 degrees. Nice. Now let's find that bag that includes all the spare cables because we want to connect this sensor to the main board and then we have to use the rest of the cables to connect all the other modules to the main board as well. Okay, I should note that all these cables are pretty much different. So the, the cable I used here is a four pin cable and it plugs in nicely onto the back of the ultrasonic sensor and then we're going to plug it into the expansion board there that says ultrasonic sensor. Okay, now next we have to connect the, we're going to stack the two acrylic chassis one on top of another but before we do that we have to make sure we run the cabling first 
here again let's make sure you follow the instructions as per the documentation I basically started with the big cable that connects all the servos all the motors and I fed the cable through the hole here and connected it to the expansion board next we want to work with the small power cable that's going to connect the contr servo control board to the main expansion board this is only a two wire cable And the last cable we're going to be attaching is the line tracking cable directly from the line tracking module to the expansion board. Again, be as gentle as possible with the cables. Avoid tugging on them too much or overly bending them. All right, now that we're done with the cables, let's connect the two pieces together and you're going to need the bag with all the spacers and the screws that is left this is one of the easiest parts of the assembly All right, so we have the two parts together now, and what's missing? Oh yeah, the tires. Let's get the tires on. For this step, you're gonna need, of course, the tires and the bag that is labeled for tires. Secure each tire with the included screws. And there you have it. It finally looks like a car or a off-road vehicle or a rover. Nice. But something is missing. What do we forget? Ah, of course, the Bluetooth module. Let's get it out of the static bag and installed. No cables required for this one. It's going to be a really easy step because all you have to do is snap it in. And guess what? We're done with the assembly, which means we're just getting started. I can't wait to take you guys into the next step and we will start programming each of these components, get it moving, get it controlled by Bluetooth, get it to use the ultrasonic sensor. Excellent. So what did everybody think about uh, part one and part two of this new series? We're building our own robotic smart car. We're going to program it. We're going to learn a lot about these electronics. Leave me your feedback, your comments, your questions down below. This is the Smart Robot Kit by Elegoo, available on Amazon. And until next time, thank you for watching Smart Robots Review.